Today in our old stamps, we're going to visit Canada. Now, how do you like this, huh? 1965 to 1974. Ooh, okay. Five cents. Beautiful Canadian leaf right there. Oh, the decade. Alrighty. And we take you to this one. Rather simple, unique, but it has its own representation. 1870 to 1970. And we have this one to show you a little bit of the land. Ten cents in green. And we have this one. Now this would have been beautiful if it hadn't lost its corner. 1534. So, whatever. That's too bad. I felt so sad. I thought it was such a beautiful stamp. Has a lot of information on it, but yet lost its corner. Okay, so here we are on the water. Ten cents. And we have these two. They're both threes. Both the same portrait. One is orange and the other one is like a burgundy. But the cancellation takes so much away from it. Takes a lot away from the beautiful picture of the stamp. And we have a one in green. A one in tan. What kind of orangey? A little too bright to be tan, kind of an orange looking. And then a one in brown. You got 1867 to 1927. Okay, and then we have a one and a two, same portrait, one being green and the two cent being pink. Might be called burgundy and just aged out. Pretty nice. Okay, and then we get when they became five cents. I mean, they were stamps were three cents for a long time. But this is five cents. Simple but yet elegant. And here's another five cents for NATO. See how on the left it says NATO and on the right it's spelt backwards. Don't know why. I don't know if that's an error. It could very well be. If you know whether it's an error or not, by all means leave it in a comment. I'd like to know that. I just don't understand why they would spell it backwards when Canada is written correctly. The five is up in the corner. The picture's just fine. There's no reason for having it backwards, I don't think. So maybe it was an error when they were first printing the stamp and caught the error and stopped. If so, then this Canadian stamp be worth a lot. So if you know of a stamp collector, ask them. Let us know. Share with the rest of us. Because that's, that's different just doesn't quite seem right. All right. I got this five cents. A 
and a four cents. I'm surprised they had four cents. A lot of time they just went right from three to five. So to C4, okay. And we have 1919, 15 cents. Starting with an aircraft. Look at that. The beginning of the plane. Okay. And then you have the 20 cents. Industry. Then down here, we have, whoops, let me zoom that more out. We have, there's actually eight of them, of the 14 cents Canadian ones. As you can see, we have some more underneath there. It's just bent over. So it's a block of eight. It's funny how there's two together in each. So it might be a block of four if the two together have to be on one stamp because it looks that way. All right, then we have a 30 cent Canadian one for the airplane. Take a flight. Probably when they started the water skis, huh? Planes with the water skis on them. This one here. Taking a nice ride in the countryside. And we have a few bigger stamps. Well, first we have one more five cents, small one. And we have the Native American. And look at this beautiful one. Isn't that interesting for an eight cent one. Okay, so I think the one really in question would probably be this one here. So if you find out if that was by error, that NATO is correct on the left and spelled backward on the right, you turn around and let me know, okay? I do hope this ends up my top picture. Because it is very interesting. All right. Be sure to share the video with other stamp collectors because maybe somebody else will know the answer. All righty. Bye-bye now. And I thank you in advance, of course.